That's okay. Do the same thing for Windows 7. One network. Turn on and put the stuff right. Okay, so as you can see here, all the PCs are showed up. This is my server, which is part of a domain, Teslab. Same thing for Vista and same thing for Windows 7. Everything is from Teslab. Okay, so now we are going to set up a roaming profile. So, what is the purpose of a roaming profile? That is the first question you probably have in your mind. Well, the purpose of a roaming profile is basically to allow users to have a consistent working environment across I mean, across lots of PCs, because I mean, in enterprises, you know, you have probably have like tens of thousands of computers. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, maybe a few thousands. And you know, if you probably want to log into another computer with the same working environment as how you had it in the last previous computer. So, what we want to do first, let's just close off these two here. We go to computer. We create a new folder and let's call it profiles as an intuitive name. Okay, so we right click on profiles, on properties, sharing, share. And we're gonna add everyone to it and we're gonna set them as the um, co owner. Now, this is just for demonstration purposes, right? I mean, in a real environment, there are probably a little more steps you will want to go through, but this is just a demonstrator of what a roaming profile can do. So, you just click on share. You're done. Copy this network path here. So, just copy it back here, right? Properties, and you're gonna paste it here. And process and username. Apply and you'll see Bob Frisky replace the percent sign username percent sign. Okay. Now let's try logging these off, these machines off. So we log in now. And we go to profiles and sure enough you see that this profile is created right here so um going back to our vista machine let's say bob frisky maybe wants to change his desktop background to uh, a little solid colors for example um let's say pink okay so you see the desktop is pink and maybe bob frisky will probably want to start working on a new document so he creates a new document and he types hello world save it and now for whatever reason Bob Frisky um, doesn't want to stay on his computer he wants to go on a Windows 7 machine so he logs off and then he goes on a Windows 7 machine he will you'll log in with um, his username and password okay and uh, as you can see here his desktop is pink and there's a new text document saying hello world just as how he left it in um, his Microsoft Vista machine. So as you can see here, he's working with a consistent background. So let's say he continues to edit it and he's saying, add in something like HTML and he saves it. And let's say now he wants to go back onto his Vista machine. So he logs off again and logs in here. And we open this new text, and there we go. We see that um, the changes are replicated, replicated throughout. Okay, so our roaming profile is obviously working. So the next thing we want to do is to create a home folder. Now, what is a home folder? Basically, the concept of a home folder is really to allow users to um, store their data, like important information, in that home folder that the administrator has set up so that the administrator can easily back up everyone's information. Because, I mean, if a user probably works on something that's very important on their local hard disk, and let's say that hard disk fails or it crashes or whatever reason, and the user cannot get back access to this information. So it makes more sense to for the admin administrator to create a home folder and allow the user to place all this important data into a home folder. 
So basically, to create a home folder, it's very similar to creating a Roman profiles folder. I'm gonna just click on a new folder and let's call it home folder. Properties, we want to share it again. Everyone, add. We can set this as a co owner share. Done. And again, in a work environment, I mean, in a real world environment, you wouldn't just set it as everyone and you know and give permissions as a co owner. There's a little, little more, more things you probably won't want to do, but again, this is a demonstration, so I won't go through the all the stuff you probably may want to go through in a real world environment. So let's close here. And again, we need to get the location of this home folder. We copy it. Pretty much the same. And the only difference is really when you go here and you click on properties and you go back on profile. And what you want to do is connect a hard drive. Well, not really a hard drive, but you want to connect the Z drive to um, this location. And again, we'll use the percent sign, username. And apply. Okay. Okay, now let's see this in action. So if you go on, if you log in again with Bob Fresky account, you can see if you go on my computer, um, you see this is mapped on the 7 drive. You see the Z drive, I mean, not the 7 drive, the Z drive. So the what the um, Bob Fresky can do is he just double clicks and maybe he, let's say, he wants to store all his important information like. For example, this new text document. So you just you can just drag this here and close it. And as you can see here, as soon as he drags it, it will appear new text documents. See? Hello world and the hello tab. The paragraph hello tab. Okay, so well that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you guys today in this video. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you guys learned something new and you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>